alaikum wa rahmatullah and a very good day to all students out there. Today we are going to discuss question MFRS 137 on provision, contingent liabilities and contingent asset is question 5 December 2018 final exam. So let's start. Okay, the first part of the question, part A, the objective of MFRS 137 is to ensure that appropriate accounting, appropriate recognition criteria and measurement basis are applied to provision, contingent liabilities and contingent asset. This is just the introduction of the question. This is what you are actually being required. You are required to lease three criteria for recognition so there is only three criteria for recognition if you can still recall and recall that provision is actually recognition as a liability okay let's look at what you have here so these are the three criteria number one as i told you earlier present obligation as a result of past event either constructive obligation or legal obligation right second one is that the we have an a probable outflow of future economic benefits that will be required to settle the obligation so outflow of economic benefits okay the third one is there is a reliable estimate Reliable estimate can be made on the amount of our obligation, the obligation that we need to discharge to the third party or whoever being affected. The next one, question 5B. Okay, as a recap, question 5B has already been discussed in our video number one for this topic, which is the provision part. So I've already put this... Uh, as an example, under my uh, example on obligating event, where you are to uh, d decide and state which of the scenario or situation is either it's a, an obligation related to legal obligation or obligation which are a constructive obligation. So if you look at this question, perhaps you can still recall what I have done before. So where the first one is a legal obligation and remember those colors that I use to differentiate between legal and constructive obligation. So the first one is legal obligation because there is a legal protection, right? And the second one is constructive obligation because there is a past practice where you have the policy of making refund. And the third one, if you still recall those examples in the in our lecture, uh, legal obligation because of the requirement by the regulatory authority to clean up the contamination. And the fourth one is because of the practice of the company that pays annual vacation, even though that is not written in the contract. Not written in the contract, meaning that we are saying that there is no Although there is no legal obligation, there is a constructive obligation. Okay, done. We look at the next part. The next part is about three situation scenario where you are having this company, Bintang, that is preparing the financial statement and they have these matters uh, which are all outstanding at the end of the year. The year end is 30th of June, 2000. 18. Okay, let's look at the requirement. You are required to elaborate and uh, the uh, appropriate accounting treatment, appropriate accounting treatment in accordance with MFRS 137. So you need to explain. And with regards to that, you need to go and relate to whatever recognition criteria necessary so that one is in three situation the second part is that you are required to prepare an extract financial statement so you need to show the extra of sopple 
and also the extra of soft P after you have done all the three scenarios in terms of the accounting treatment. In this question, you are not required to prepare a journal. You're not required to prepare a journal. It's straight away required to prepare the extract or the impact of that in the financial statement. So this is the first situation and then I've already used different colors to illustrate different uh, situation in terms of the event in that particular scenario. Scenario one, the year end uh, was 30th of June 2018. One of Bintang Berhad's employee was injured. So if you can still recall the word was injured while working, this is the past event. And then the employee took legal action and sought damages claim of 100,000. So when they took legal action, you now have the so-called present obligation. And that present obligation is your legal obligation. So number one is being fulfilled. And they claim for 100,000. Bintang Berhad has taken legal advice and is confident that the company will be held liable. So when you will be held liable, it means that it is more likely that than not that the outflow is probable. So there will be an outflow required to settle the obligation. So this is number two. However, uh, the amount that of the obligation is still questionable. You cannot confirm how much. Yes, they asked for 100,000. So the lawyer has not given any opinion on what is the reliable estimate. So reliable estimate is not being fulfilled, third criteria. So now you can conclude that only two out of three is being fulfilled. So if that is the case, that is, this is not about a provision. So you are asked to explain. So you will start off saying that what is happened is that um, there is present obligation, legal obligation. We can take this from our uh, question itself. Legal action. So evidence by the legal action filed against the company for damage claim. So that was the first sentence. Right? And then there you, if you look at the part here, this one is telling you that the outflow is probable. There is a probable outflow of resources because the lawyer or the companies with the advice of the lawyer says that they are confident that company will be held liable. So meaning that outflow of economic resources, cash, for example, will be needed to be used in settlement of that uh, claim in the future. They think it's probable. So this one, number two. But number three, the amount cannot be estimated reliably. So when amount cannot be estimated reliably, it means that you cannot recognize as a provision. So there is no provision should be recognized or should be accrued. However, you should only disclose this as a contingent liability. And your contingent liability should be disclosed where? In the notes to the financial uh, statement, you need to show what are the nature of the event. And number two, you also need to disclose or show how much is the estimate of financial effects if it's applicable. Next question. Next one, scenario two, Bintang Berhad has been practicing a policy. Practicing a policy. What was the policy that has been practiced? They allow customers to return goods within seven days after sale. So when they have this kind of policy that has created the so-called constructive obligation and because of that, there is already a present obligation. So the first situation is being fulfilled. And allowing customers to return goods within seven days after sale so sale is actually the past event because if there is no sale they will not allow this to happen uh, the customer cannot return goods if they don't uh, you know purchase anything from bintang but here they are allowed allowing the customer to return the goods so this part is actually the showing that the outflow is 
probable. This is uh, because that have been their practice, and they in seven days time, they will have to uh, allow your their customer to return the goods. Right, every time sales happen within seven days. Bintang Berhad estimate that such return usually amount to two percent of the sale. So out of the sales that took place in that year, two percent are likely to have a return from the dissatisfied customer. And in that year, the sales was was five hundred thousand. And uh, Bintang estimated that only two percent, and that is based on the reliable estimate. So we say here, reliable estimate are also fulfilled. So number one check, number two check, number three also check. So there is uh, this so-called provision because the recognition criteria, all three is being fulfilled. And you need to write the proper sentence. So write the present obligation and explain that is a constructive obligation. What was the constructive obligation? The constructive obligation is through the past practice of allowing customers to return and that has created a valid expectation to the customer that such refund when they return the good they will get the refund right so will be given so that was the first one the second one talk about outflow of economic benefit is probable why they already has a policy that such refunds will be given will be given within seven days yeah within seven days after sales then the next one a reliable estimate can also be made show what was the estimate out of that two percent two percent five hundred thousand it's ten thousand so all one two three are met there's a provision for warranty. This is about warranty of 10,000 should be made as a liability. So that's it. You get five marks. You need to mention what kind of provision for warranties should be made, should be accrued by the company, should be provided by the company. Next, the last one. Bintang Baha was facing litigation for damage. So this shows that there is a problem present obligation, legal obligation because they face litigation suit for whatever damage claim from a customer because they supply faulty goods. So this one is past event. The amount of the claim was 300,000. Yeah, the amount of the claim. We have to see whether this is a reliable estimate or not. Bintang Berhad legal advisor considered that Bintang Berhad was liable and it was probable that this claim would succeed. The claim would succeed. So it shows that the reliable estimate has been also fulfilled. And the next one is that they also said that it is they are going to be held liable and it was probable Probable means more than 50% chances of having outflow yeah, of economic resources. So therefore, outflow is probable. So number three. So check, check, and check. The first one, polo. So the, the case is expected to be settled within one year. So if this is the case, it is less than one year. So if you see that the three criteria is being fulfilled, so you will have to recognize a provision. And this will be under current liability, your provision, because likely to be settled in one year. Time, less than a year. There is a present obligation. Do you have the answer here for you to check? Legal obligation arising from the past event. Putting colors is to that you have a better analysis of what was in the question. Bintang Berhad face a litigation suit. This is the proof that there is a legal obligation. And this is the past event, present obligation that arise because of these faulty goods. There is a probable outflow of resources. Why? Because legal advisor confirmed that it was probable that the claim would succeed. And the amount of claim is also reliably estimated at the 
thirty thousands. You can also join the sentence if it's a short sentence. So you have all three criteria met. Therefore, a provision for damage of thirty thousand should be made as a liability in the financial statement. And this liability specifically will be a current liability. Next, this is the extra of financial statement, and of course. Um, the if you look at the question situation two and situation three is the one that give rise to the provision right situation two situation three situation two situation three situation one was just a contingent liability so this one warranty cost is because you debit warranty cost right so when you debit, that goes to the sopper, right? So that's why it is in the sopper. You credit the provision for warranty. For how much? 10, 10. And this goes to the current liability, CL. So that is why it is here. Same goes for damage. It is also current liability because it is expected to be realized in one year time. The outflow is, outflow is probable within one year time. 